everybody, welcome back. I've got this funny little video today. I'm celebrating Christmas in July. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I've got a quick meal, a little craft, and a cool cocktail. So come on back here real quick. And I also uh, have uh, In the Kitchen with Karen is collaborating and she's also gonna have a Christmas in July video. So I was excited. Uh, she's great and I wanna, I wanna thank her for doing that because this is gonna be a lot of fun. And trust me, it's hot, it's weird outside. It's, as you can hear, it's thundering right now. Uh, and I've been missing, I want some good food. I was like, I don't bake right now and I'm tired of sandwiches and salads and all that stuff. And I thought, nope, I'm making a good meal today. So we're gonna make a little Christmas holiday meal we're gonna do chicken and dressing oh it's so good and it's so easy guys it's gonna take you four items that's it if you want to spice it up you can add some more stuff but you don't have to four items is all it's gonna take let's see your chicken your sour cream your stove top and your cream of chicken uh, chicken noodle soup and you can buy the off-brand and you can buy the fat-free stuff so this is great but before I go on let me introduce my cool drink I've got just a Zinfandel I bought a white wine because I thought wine during Christmas would be great oh and you're gonna need a crock pot as you can see this big crock pot sitting in front of me you're gonna need a crock pot this is a just a set and go set and go that's all you're gonna need but these glasses, this is my Dairy Queen 1970s, and I kept wondering about these glasses, so I did my research, and it's Holt Howard. He also designed plain ones, but Dairy Queen, Dairy Queen asked him to do these, and he did them with the little insignia right here, the little logo of Dairy Queen, but these are the regular ones. You can find these in bar collections. I just love them. They look very, like, you know, kind of modern Santa. It's very cute. They're like a highball glass just so neat. I just like them. So I've got my wine on ice because I have to have everything on ice. Mm. Big sip. Oh my gosh. Mm. Big sip. I don't know a lot about wine, but I like this. It's cool. It's refreshing. I've got, uh, I've got it going with a good meal here. So anyway, come on back here and uh, let me start this little thing for you. So, uh, this is all you're gonna need, guys. You're gonna need your chicken. You decide what chicken you wanna use, and you're gonna set this on low for three and a half hours. And if you get the bigger breast, the chicken breast, you're gonna need you're gonna need four hours. But I did three, three hours, maybe in 10 minutes, because I bought the little tenderloins, and I coat them all along the bottom here. And here's my chicken. Here's my chicken right here. I just buy the little, you know, little thin slices. They come in a big pack. Super easy. You know, everybody's got, you might, have, you might have this at home already. So anyhow, that's just how easy it is. And so that's gonna be your first thing. That's your first layer. So basically you're just layering all this. You're layering all this together. And let me scoot this back a little bit. Let me scoot this off to the side. Okay. Oops, let me scoot that off to the side because you're gonna have to mix sour cream. And actually your second layer is gonna be this, but let me mix the sour cream and the cream of chicken and this is the best thing guys you don't even have to add any spices because they sell cream of chicken with herbs now now if you want to you could take a little bit of seasoning i do that i take the basil i add just a little bit of basil or oregano or whatever you like i just like the italian seasoning works i like this i just add a little bit on top of my chicken uh, but you're going to add your your soup along with your sour cream and you're gonna mix this together. And you're gonna need half a cup. I already have the sour cream in here. You're gonna add half a cup of sour cream to your uh, one can of chicken. Chicken noodle, uh, this is the cream of chicken with herbs. And get the off brand, guys. You, you know, if you don't wanna get the good brand, get the, get the store brand. It doesn't matter because when this all comes together, it's incredible. You're not, it's so good. And if you wanna do turkey and dressing, you can, but you know, I just, in a hurry and stuff, I just pick up stuff that I thought, you know, I'm just gonna do the chicken and dressing. And I want a good hearty meal. I want a nice home cooked meal. I just don't wanna cook or sit around the stove. I thought, nah, this is much easier. So let's go ahead and pick out the stove top you like. I like the, I got the cornbread one. You can pick out the regular bread one. You can pick out the chicken stove top, whichever you like. You know, everybody's got these. Get the store brand if you want to. So it's gonna be the chicken and it's going to be I'm just gonna pour all this in here. I think you can see me. Can you see me? You put all this in here and make sure it covers up all your chicken. Put your cornbread, you know, put your dressing, your stove top on top. 
And then the next layer is going to be this, your soup mix. And that's where you just go ahead and you just coat it on top and make sure it's kind of level, you know, just spread it along the top, just like you would be frosting a cake. Super easy, because it just comes out so good. Like I tell you, all the flavors go together, but it all melts into one. And I've been doing this recipe probably for probably about 10 years, but I really like it and it's quick, guys. You know, set it, forget it, do your own thing. And I hope everybody's doing great out there. So anyway, like I tell you, it's, we're, I'm sitting under a heat dome here in Houston. Today we got some rain, you can hear it. Can you hear it? And I'm, I'm thinking, uh-oh, I don't want my power to go out. I thought, gotta kinda hurry. So anyway, I've got that all in there. I don't know if you can see that. So easy and you're gonna add just a little bit of water, guys, along the edges. Just a little bit of water. You could have added the water to the mix. So just go along the edge. And all I have, I have my measuring cup here with eight tablespoons. But just go along, along the edges, just to kind of saturate it just a little bit. No big deal, no big deal. And this way it keeps it from sticking. That's all it's gonna do. It's gonna keep it from sticking to the, uh, to the top of your, uh, to the sides of your pan here, because that's what you don't want. You don't want that, you don't want that. And if you want to, you can add a little bit of salt and pepper. There's some pepper on top. And there's, let's see, I don't want this to pour out too fast. There's some salt. And that is it. Let me move all this mess out of the way. And my little measuring cup. Oh, give me a towel here. Okay, let's see. We got this all going. So this is gonna go on low three hours or three and a half. Like I tell you, I do 325 because the little pieces of uh, meat that I got are, are smaller. I got the tenderloins. The little, uh, but I didn't, if you get the big chicken breast, like I tell you, you gotta go, you gotta go a little bit longer. But through the magic of TV, oh, let me get this, let me get this. Through the magic of TV, I already have one made. Yep, 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 it's gonna be great. I hope you like it. Oh my gosh, it's so hot, so hot. Just, it, I just noticed that it was ready to go and I thought, I gotta do my video, I gotta do my video. I thought, let's do this. And guys, if you want to, what you can do is you can slice and dice it in here. Ooh, can you see it? Look how good that looks. Oh my gosh, I love it. And if you want, like I tell you, you can slice and dice in here, but you don't have to. You can just serve it, serve it each little, you know, chicken breast. If not, I like mine kind of, kind of just slide, you know, like in a tic-tac-toe form. That way it just kind of, all the flavors come together. You get a little bit of everything. You don't miss out on any of the soup mix. So good. Okay, let me get this. Guys, add your green beans. Add your green beans. Grab your bread. I'd already baked those. I'd already put those in the oven. Or not the oven, the microwave. Uh oh, I'm losing my light here. And uh, let's see here. Oops, where's my, here it is. There's my little serving spatula here. I'm all over the place. Okay. There's my serving. Ah, oh, look at that. Look how good that looks. It's just gorgeous. I love it. I love it. One of my favorite meals, guys. I can't tell you. I like turkey and dressing. I like chicken and dressing. I like. I have to go to the cafeteria sometime to get some or a, a diner or something. I thought, I'm going to make this. I'm going to make this. For dinner tonight i'm gonna show them or lunch i'm gonna show them and i'm gonna share this idea with them so anyway let me let me move this all around let me move this out of the way so that you can see my pretty plate and i'm gonna try this out oh i like it i like it let me see mm. Mm. two thumbs up guys i'm gonna give this a two thumbs up I like it. I have all this already in my cupboard. I hope you do. This isn't going to cost you a lot. Kind of a bargain basement kind of meal, and it makes a lot. Add as many breasts as you want to. I have the bigger crock pot. I added about five little pieces of chicken to the bottom. You could do three, you could do six, or you could even make in layers. You could put this in layers and make a lot more for a lot more people. You might have to cook it a little bit longer, but it looks good. It tastes good. You don't have to add any a lot of salt because the salt is already going to be in the in the soup mix. But let me take one more bite with the green bean. Mm. I can't tell you guys. Mm. 
I've been missing food like this. I just have. But let, let me show you my funny little craft. As you can see back here, I've got a gift going. I did little gift toppers. I remembered all my friends' favorite beverages. Some like beer, some like liquor, some like, you know, soda, some don't drink. But I found these little, I found these little keychains and they're at the dollar store and they're at uh, Michael's. You get four at Michael's, you get two at the dollar store. They're wooden little discs here and they've already got the little, they've already got the little uh, keychain part. So all I did guys, I recycled the cans of their favorite beverage. And instead of putting a candy cane on a gift, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do this. I thought I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make them a keychain because we all lose that gate key or mail key. You're gonna remember this keychain. <laughs> so anyway, I kept thinking about that. I kept thinking, I, I always forget the gate key. I thought this time I'm gonna know. This is a Shiner Bach. This is the, uh, this is the, I forget what this one's called, Crawford Bach. The one in Houston with the Astros logo. And my friend Sean likes Bush Light. So I like this one. And I got the crown and the four roses. This one I just stained with some furniture polish, no big deal, the dark one. And if you wanna get your bottle labels up, because I'm gonna get Bunny a Tito's one, all you do guys is you soak the bottle in a little bit of, um, a little bit of baking soda and dish, uh, dish soap with warm to hot water for about 30 minutes and it comes right off with an X-Acto knife. I did the X-Acto knife and it peeled right off the can, I mean, right off the, uh, the bottle and it worked. So anyway, I got these. I added it to the top of my gift because, you know, instead of putting a pine cone or something like that, you get a cool keychain. So I started working on these because I was watching the ball game the other day. So anyway, and I thought about it. I thought, oh, I'm going to do this. So anyway, so thank you for coming back. Oh, and I have to show off my poinsettia. She's a little princess. I don't know if you can see her back here. She is uh, six years old. No, six years old, six months old. I saved her from Christmas, and I've never been able to keep a poinsettia going this long. She's doing great. She demands a lot of water. She's sitting on my porch, and I didn't know they turn green. If anybody knows why they turn green, but I, I just, I've never kept a poinsettia this long, and I thought, I'm putting her in my backdrop today. So anyway, she's pretty cool. Because I mean, I don't know how long she's gonna last, but like I tell you, she demands a lot of water, and you know, some filtered light. So she's on the porch. But anyway, thank you for coming back. Don't forget to go and check out In the Kitchen with Karen. She's also doing a collaboration with me and she's celebrating Christmas in July because like I tell you, we got to keep cool. All the Christmas specials are going on at the mall and the Hallmark Channel is showing Christmas movies all month. So anyway, big kisses guys. Big cheers and thank you for coming by. Try this out. I think you're going to like it. Bye.